So the first modification we're going to do is the compression. This is the obvious one because as, like with uh, dropping the pebble or with some of the other ones, we're going to bring our hands up and then as, as we expand up, we're almost like we're feeling like we're exploding out, like we're thrusting one of those workout balls, weighted balls up and out. So pressing up and out this way. As we come in, I'm going to expand, stand up, kind of like I'm pushing myself up out of a swimming pool. So in, and then out, in, then out. Down, and then up, down, and then up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Our last modification we're going to do with Wide Ape Offers It's True and Floating Hands in the Clouds is to do it walking. The mechanics for walking stay the same no matter what type of Tai Chi movement you're doing. The thing that might change is the timing. So when I do Wide Ape Offers It's Fruit, what I'm doing is I'm bringing my foot in and I'm reaching out and I'm expanding up and out this way. You can work on stretching by keeping the hands close but I like to expand out with this one. And then as I bring my foot in, going forward, I'm going to let my hands float down into floating hands in the clouds. As I reach out, my hands are going to scoop up, and then as I shift my weight forward, they're going to expand up and out again. One of the unique things that doing the movement of white ape off his fruit and floating hands in the clouds going backward is that it can allow you to work on that timing that we talked about earlier and maybe choose to press out as you're reaching backward and settling. So how that looks is if I want to say reach backward before I did floating hands in the clouds and settled backward nice and, and simple. And this is some um, kind of a common sense type of movement. This feels natural for us. But it's also interesting to think about how if I wanted to reach outward with my hands as I settle. So my hands come in and as I reach backward, I'm pressing up and out. So again, my hands come forward. As I reach forward, I'm pressing up and out. But also maybe I'm bringing my hands in, floating hands in the clouds in the middle, and then pressing forward as I'm settling backward up and out this way. So this is one of the ways that you can begin modifying your Tai Chi and your footwork practice to generate new movements for you, new ways of examining how your body moves through space, how you can remain controlled, poised, and aware of how your body moves as you do these movements.